First, I would like to thank the Global Chinese Financial Forum and especially Gilbert Chan for, and his team for putting this event on um, during these crazy times. Thank you. My name is Kevin Richardson. I am the CEO and Chairman of Sanuave Health. We are an energy-focused wound care solutions company. We are listed on the OTC under the top stock ticker symbol SNWV. We will be uplisting a NASDAQ uh, market in early October as well. This presentation will take 15 to 20 minutes to go through and it explains who we are, what we do, and why the recent acquisition we completed in August is transformative to Sanuay. The presentation will be available for download later today at www.sanuave.com. This is the forward-looking statement. Please take a moment to review. As, as we stated, we are a wound care solutions company. Wound care is a multi-billion dollar business in the US and even larger internationally. We will be announcing very soon joint ventures around the globe, including Mexico, Saudi Arabia, and in China, which will drive a lot of our international growth in 2021 and beyond. One of our focuses is on treating diabetes patients. Diabetes is a global disease. It affects 10 to 15% of the population, depending on where you live. The growth rates of diabetes are only getting worse globally for many reasons, like diet and lack of exercise. When diabetes occurs, the blood flow is compromised. And as that poor vascularization occurs, the limbs lack blood flow. They sometimes get neuropathy, which is when the nerve endings no longer have the blood supply to work properly. When this occurs in diabetic patients, they may get a wound on their foot or lower leg and may not even feel the wound. These wounds can get infected. About 15% of all diabetic patients will suffer from a diabetic foot ulcer. That's a wound. And of those, 15% will end up with an infection that will lead to an amputation, an amputation of their, their foot. Of those with an amputation, 75% will die within five years. The morbidity rate around diabetic foots is tragic. The stat statistics are staggering. Sanuave's energy devices are here to help treat all wounds from this crippling disease. We recently completed the acquisition of Ultramist from Cellularity and entered into a partnership to sell their biological products. This gives Sanuave's four products that assist in healing wounds. It also gives us much more, which we will spend the next 15 minutes describing. I will read the slides to you and point out three key points per slide. The acquisition broadens our wound portfolio. It allows end-to-end -end treatment. It also enhances our financial profile by adding over 15 million in revenue day one and 4 million in free cash flow, along with a thousand locations to cross promote the products. The products we acquired are complementary and will, will work in great conjunction with each other. Focus shockwave and ultrasound coupled with skin substitutes like BioVance and Interfill. The deal gains us access to over a thousand locations to begin cross-selling and promoting the combination therapies. The footprint and the increased sales force will allow us to accelerate the growth of Dermapace and refocus the growth of Ultramis. Lastly, we increased the scale of the company doing just over a million in revenue last year to a combined business doing 20 million today. When you look at the Transform Sanuave on a combined basis, we paid 24 million in the deal. In return, we received 15 million in 2019 revenue and 4 million in EBITDA. This coupled with the cost savings of $2 million, which has been identified, and after one-time integration expenses, makes us free cash positive. This is a huge event for companies like us. Becoming cash flow positive is one of the main reasons we completed the transaction. The other important reasons are it gives us access to 100 feet on the street to sell the product. This is up from four salespeople prior to the acquisition. We'll be in a thousand locations with only 15 having overlapping products. So we'll be able to cross sell immediately. The similar products which will allow us to become a leader in the energy first movement, which is now hitting wound care helping the body heal itself. We gain a great team of salespeople, engineers, and reimbursement specialists as well. Let me spend a moment on how wounds are treated for those who don't know. Wound care is a huge market. And when, you, and when a wound is treated, they're treated in a wound care center. 
These are chronic wounds, very hard to heal, and many times lead to amputations, as mentioned before. Our product addresses chronic wounds and will treat the patients in weeks four and beyond. We offer energy devices, Brillo Case and Ultramist, and soon wound shield, and then the skin substitutes like BioVance and Interfill to help heal the wounds. The, the global market for diabetic foot ulcers is 15 billion. It's 45 billion when you look at all wounds on a global basis, pressure ulcers and venous leg ulcers. There's also wound care centers that we treat in. So how does it work? Dermapace began its commercialization in 2019 when we received our reimbursement codes. We place a focus shockwave in, on the wound. It's a, a handheld device and we treat it for five to seven minutes. It's non-invasive, easy to use, and helps the wound heal itself. The shockwave causes a micro trauma at the cellular level, waking up the wound. By waking up the wound, it causes perfusion, angiogenesis, and growth factor upregulation to help the body heal itself. This procedure is once a week. This is a similar and that it uses energy to help the body heal itself. Dermapace is much more powerful than Ultramist and works on perfusion. Ultramist using acoustic ultrasound delivers through a mist. It is a quick non-invasive, easy to use, and creates micro strains in the wound bed to promote healing. It is great at getting rid of infections and bacteria and promoting the healing. It can be used in all types of wounds. The biologic products are BioVance and Interfill. These are applies to the wound bed after the wound is ready to accept them. They are amniotic based and produced by Cellularity, the company we acquired them from. They act as a scaffold for the wound to grow and heal into. They have an RFD with the FDA and work extremely well in the wound setting to help the wounds heal. The next two pages detail where we have coverage for the systems and the skin substitutes. We have very strong coverage for these products in all states, especially the acquired products. Their team has done an excellent job gaining coverage broadly and also helping drive reimbursement higher over the past three years. As an example, Ultramist in the physician office setting has had their payment double over the past three years. This makes the procedure extremely lucrative for the office treatment an area we plan to grow aggressively. So how will we grow? Combining the sales teams with the four products will allow great cross-sell opportunities. As we've mentioned before, there's a thousand locations and we only overlap in 15. We also bring the products internationally, which should not exist prior to the acquisition. We have existing relationships in South Korea, Europe, South America, and will soon be expanding into Mexico, Middle East, and China. By offering end-to-end -end solutions, we can then work with the wound centers to create a full solution suite, which is much more powerful way to sell in a wound center setting. But the big one is the sales force. We have over a thousand accounts and only overlap in 15. We will have 15, or we'll have 20 W2 direct reps who can generate anywhere between half a million and a million and a half dollars a year in revenue. We will have 80 independent reps, which can generate anywhere from 50 to 500,000 a year in revenue. The breadth of the 100 feet on the street will allow for a flywheel effect to occur. Clinicians look to one another to see what they are using and what products they are supporting. Once you reach a certain critical mass, the flywheel kicks in and the sales process timeline begins to shorten at these wound centers. This will be what will work for us in 2021 as we have the 100 feet on the street, all driving their quotas, which will drive the top line for greater than 50% growth next year. On this slide, I'll repeat some of the highlights that we will have. It's a busy slide with a lot of information but it offers what the cross-selling opportunities are, the international commercialization, the expansion of indications that we have from our existing slides. It's a future pipeline of strong products and combinations to help wound healing. And then also there's some, some non-medical opportunities that we can talk about on a later date. We're almost done. 
Um, so I'm, I'm trying to go fast so we can get the Q&A. I would be remiss if I did not mention our patent portfolio. It's over 150 global patents that are all around the energy transfer business. The team we have assembled is top notch and the IP portfolio will continue to grow and expand in the coming months and years. It's probably the hidden gem within our asset are the over 165 patents that we have covering how our device can be used, is created, and how the shockwaves and ultrasound are used in practice. This is a snapshot of where our balance sheet income statement were at the end of the June quarter. We raised $44 million in conjunction with the acquisition of Cellularity in August of this year. That was led by Morgan Stanley on the debt side. We'll have a new balance sheet to update you as September in the September 10 Q. This will also happen prior to our uplisting. It'll happen post our uplisting on NASDAQ in October. The highlights of the acquisition itself, we paid four times pro forma cash flow for the assets and also brought over 10 million to the balance sheet. This is important because it allows us to apply for the NASDAQ uplisting, which will occur in October. Morgan Stanley led the debt portion of the acquisition. The management team has a great background in wound care and experience to execute on the growth. As you can see, there's a combined uh, 200 years of experience in the wound care space. I don't need to go into uh, how important that is, but we have a great team to execute on our plan. So just to conclude, I wanted to talk about our value creating milestones and then some, some takeaways. With the acquisition, we increased the footprint of the sales force and the number of locations. We increased our sales dramatically. We'll now be able to grow the top line over 50% for the next few years. We'll also be uplisting in NASDAQ. We'll also be announcing expansion into international partnerships in the coming months, including China, Mexico, and the Middle East. So the key takeaways are we have the feet on the street, with our now expanded sales force, we have grown from seven salespeople to over 100 sales reps. We are in a thousand locations that can all cross sell. We have high attractive margins in the 80% range gross margin with high recurring revenue. Over 60% of our revenue is recurring. There's a large market opportunity and we're cash flow positive. With that, I can now open it up to questions from the presentation. Thank you, Kevin. So I'd like to start off by one of the questions from the anonymous uh, name. He's asked you if you have any sort of what revenue forecast for the next year or even the, uh, the year after. Sure. Um, next year, we should be, uh, we, we don't have anything formally out there from a forecast. Uh, we just combined the entities in August. Uh, we'd expect to have uh, that forecast come out when we announce earnings in November. But based on the sales force and the feed on the street, we should at least see somewhere between 25 and 30 million next year. Okay, that's good. And the second question from two different sources asking similar thing from Chris Steele here. Are you thinking of entering any other markets, uh, Europe or Asia? And uh, for the Chinese feed from uh, Sally also asking you if you're working with any other regions in partnership. Yeah, no, so we, um, right now, we, our current footprint, we have um, uh, partners in South Korea, we have partners in Europe, and we'll be introducing these new products to those partners. We recently received what's called an visa approval in Brazil, which is their version of the FDA. We'll be announcing next week that we received the same approval in Mexico, and we'll begin shipments to going to Mexico, and we'll be expanding to South America. In the Middle East, we're now in uh, three countries, we should be expanding to six to seven over the next, uh, by the end of this year. And then um, we will be entering the Chinese market uh, with a partnership sometime in the next week or two that will announce uh, it's a major medical company. And uh, we're excited to bring our products there and help treat wounds with uh, shockwave and ultrasound. Thank you. Uh, another question coming from the Chinese side. 
and uh, is from New, actually asking how much uh, actually capital have you been all invested from the start until now at this point in the company? Oh, I, um, I can talk about personally, and then I can talk about the uh, the company itself. I've personally put four million dollars into the company over the last decade uh, to get it to where it is today. We've raised close to seventy million, um, and uh, and with the most recent raise to close the acquisition, we've raised over a hundred million. So it's over a hundred million dollars have been raised to bring it to the FDA, um, have all the patents, all the protections, and have everything ready to launch. We just began the launch in 2019, so we're really early stage right now, and and we'll be expanding rapidly. Okay, uh, I've got uh, another question here because we've got a bit of time uh, from Park Learn here from the English feed. He said, uh, asking you minimum listing uh, uh, price for Nasdaq is usually a dollar per share. Are you planning to reverse split your shares going to uh, Nasdaq listed? Yeah, that, that's the game plan. So the application process has been accepted by NASDAQ. So they've accepted it. They've given us their comment letter. We've replied to the comment letter. The next update will be the exact dates when we would be uplisting. At that point in time, our board will uh, decide on what the reverse would be. And we will implement the reverse and then uplist to NASDAQ. The, so we're, we're very far down the process and just waiting on the final two steps at this point. Okay. That's it for this uh, time. Uh, thank you for your time, Kevin. Uh, thank, thank you, Gilbert. You. Yeah. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Thank well, you. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. It's